Hey, what's in my fellow MMTers? I just looked up social alternative by hell of it. And I used to, um, at one point in time, not not so distant in the past, uh, I used to, and I've said this many, many times, I'll probably continue to say it. Um, I used to uh, go on these websites and, you know, say the news, you know, or at least, you know, promote their news, trying to promote their event if they were up to date and stuff about like that and, you know, whatever. Um, and the moment I saw that Social's Alternative member, uh, Shama Sawant in Seattle, uh, was encouraging his, uh, her, sorry, her um, membership to join a DSA. I, 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 I saw, I saw um, catastrophe. And I mean, I don't mean that to them as a organization. I mean that to the, to the movement, uh, not that it would end because the movement will never end. And unless it's, Unless it, the goal is accomplished, which is a lot of things that need to happen in regards to having a, by definition, socialist uh, society. Um, I don't mean like party wise. I mean strict, strictly socialist policies, <laughs> uh, like single payer health care, a wage that people will live off of, save on stuff like that uh cost of living not being a factor in the cost of living um stuff of that nature anyway so when i saw that i i stopped uh reporting anything in regards to social alternative dsa stuff of that nature uh then i stuck with the green party the Green Party in regards to news and stuff like that. I even tried to become a part of the news organization of Global. Uh, nothing happened to that, of course, but whatever. Um, so then I now I'm not anti anti V, uh, but I am pro choice, and every sense of the word, at least I'm fighting. Um, so but when the Green Party advocated for that. Uh, mandatory portion of it, uh, and also the fact that they took the neoliberal uh, view of modern monetary theory. Uh, I stopped. Uh, I stopped. Um, I stopped corresponding. Not corresponding. Excuse me. I stopped um, uh, reporting their news uh, internationally and domestically. Um, Anyway, so on to the story. Why I'm not running again for city council by Shama Sawant from July 20th, July, having all kinds of problems today, January 20th, there we go. Um, and I'm also, by the way, if you haven't noticed, uh, I also put up a like a six minute read of El Rando Ray's uh, uh, book, um, Make Money Work For Us, how MMT can save America. And I, I'm trying to put that on my TikTok as well, but I couldn't do that from another place, so I decided to put it on my YouTube channel. Anyway, uh, apparently it was originally published by The Stranger. Yeah, uh, this is now the 10th year. This is coming from Salon, of course. This, uh, this is now the 10th year I've had the honor to serve as an elected representative of Seattle's working people. Workers in Seattle through getting organized alongside by Social City Council Office, wait, my, excuse me, and my, organized, my organization, Social Alternative, have won historic victories from uh, the $15 minimum wage to the Amazon tax to landmark renters' rights. Now, you had to remember, the Amazon tax was at a localized level. It was never had anything to do with federal taxes. Anyway, these victories have set a powerful example that has had a national and even international impact. In our four election victories and in every struggle, we, we've had to overcome the combined might of big business, the corporate media, and the political establishment. 
Each time working people refuse to back down and we have prevailed again and again. This is the most important lesson from our example of socialist politics in Seattle. That when workers and young people get organized and fight, we can win. That not that no meaningful progressive change can be won and under capitalist capitalism without the vicious opposition of the rich and their political servants. And that instead of backing down, we need to build the unity of working class people and fighting and fight back fiercely and proudly. A yeah, uh, was oh, uh, we a repatience. Rep rep I was just saying, yeah, imperialistic capitalist class has amassed untold uh, fortunes off the labor of billions of workers. By their system is in deep crisis, but their system is in deep crisis, and it cannot sustain itself. Meanwhile, it eviscerated ordinary people's living standards with historic levels of inflation and over. 800 million uh, get, go to bed hungry each night. The right wing is on the attack against abortion rights and LGBTQ and people. Inflation is supply chain. Doesn't matter what supply chain, it's still a supply chain. Anyway, the future of human civilization rests on a knife's edge with an ex existential threat in cl of climate catastrophe. Working and young people uh, cannot afford a status quo, uh, status quo, status quo, excuse me, corporate politics, uh, status quo, yes. Uh, at my inauguration in, 20, in 2014, I said, let me be, let me make one thing absolutely clear there. There will be no backroom deals with corporations or their political servants. Uh, da, da, da. Sorry, got distracted for a second. Uh, there will be no, okay, uh, there will be no, Will be no uh, run sellout of the people I represent. Our social okay, our socialist council office has held truth that it is extremely regrettable that exceedingly few other elected officials in the country can say the same. Since I was elected in twenty thirteen, more than a hundred self-identified Democratic socialist candidates have been elected nationally, but unfortunately, with rare exceptions, the overwhelming majority of them have abandoned their, ca their campaign promises and have failed to stand up to the political establishment. Just last month, we saw the historic and shameful betrayal of railroad workers by members of the Congressional Progressives uh, Caucus, including Caucus Chair Pram Pramila Jayapal, a self-proclaimed Democratic Socialist and Squad members such as AOC. The breaking of the railroad workers' strike by progressives in the Congress does not just hurt railroad workers, it, it is betrayal of the entire working class. But uh, such sellouts have even more sinister consequences. It gives an opening to the right wing, as we saw with the five Republican senators uh, disingenuously voting against the, stri the strike breaking bill to pretend to be on the side of the railroad workers. These, ro these Republicans, who in reality nakedly serve the interests of the wealthy, are being allowed to pretend their party is the party of the worker. How is this possible? Only because the Democratic Party is moving further and further right in their loyal report, uh, support of the corporate elite. It is deeply unfortunate that it was the right-wing Freedom Caucus who demonstrated how to use leverage to force establishment concessions rather than the squad. But they continued failure of any real relationship, uh, sorry, real leadership, otherwise a relationship, on the left. The House Speakership fight reveals just how quickly and dangerously the right-wing currently can fill the void. It is a frightening uh, flashback to how Trump won his election in the first place. Working people and the left cannot uh, cannot stand by and wait on so uh, wait on so called progressive elected officials. We cannot put our faith in the AOCs or the uh, or the Jayapals, even though I understand there were many who have who had high expectations for them. AOC recently claimed that she could not fight against democratic leaders on behalf of workers because it would cause rational harm with those leaders. 
What about the vast and very real harm taking place in the absence of such a fight for our needs? Meanwhile, the organization that should be holding AOC and the squad accountable, Democrat and the DSA, appears to be unwillingly, unwillingly to do so. It gives me no pleasure to say this because I'm currently a member of DSA, but the DSA leadership has, for the most part, provided cover for the misleading of the squad. There is a vacuum of real left leadership locally and nationally. We need a new party for the working class, one that holds election officials accountable, but bases, but that bases itself on social social movements, but organized alongside workers on the street and to work and in workplaces. Elections are not the only, uh, not the only, much less the primary path to political change because the political system is run from top to bottom under the under capitalism capitalism and yeah, whatever now, now as a global crisis worsens the rot spreads deeper and deeper and the threat of further corruption by the far right hangs over us uh, all in india the country i was born in the right wing the far right excuse me is in power and rapidly consolidating it and the U.S. midterms were but a temporary reprieval until we, until uh, sorry, unless we get organized. Capitalism needs to be overthrown. We need a socialist world, and that is only possible by mobilizing many millions of workers and working people around genuine socialist ideas and fighting relentlessly for our interest as a class. But the task of rebuilding the class struggle in America will go nowhere if young people and the rank and file of the labor movements movement are not clear about the role of Democratic Party and the need for a new party that serves us all and serves us, not the rich. Working people need to recognize that we have to fight independently of the two big business parties and of the leaders who make excuses for them. Last year, we saw hundreds of thousands of workers fighting to unionize their uh, work, workplaces or going on strike to win a good contract. Whether at Amazon or at Starbucks uh, or at the University of California, we saw the we saw the historic victory of Amazon workers at JFJ at eight in New York by the newly formed Amazon un, uh, Labor Union. The uh, the year before, we saw a stakeholder, uh, we saw a strike holder, excuse me, Striketober, Jesus, which included historic battles like the John Deere strike and here in Seattle, the strike of Pacific Northwest Carpenters. And it was less than three years ago, the biggest, okay, anyway, so. Let's see, let's get to the meat of the whole thing, I think. Let's see, that is why along with social term others, I'm announcing the launch of a new national movement Workers strike back instead of uh, instead of myself running for re-election against Seattle's Seattle District Three. We have no illusion that a mass movement can be built overnight, but we urgently need to be to get started. Working people have to get a power a powerful example in this time on uh, in, in this city. It is time to build on the nationally to widen and strengthen the class struggle. Workers strike back will be launched in March. Uh, in cities around the country, from Seattle to New York to Chicago to, to Minneapolis to Oakland to Houston and beyond. Here in Seattle, we are we will be a uh, holding launch party, uh, launch rally, rally rather on March fourth. Join us. The main demo, uh, demands of workers strike back are: workers need a real real way a uh, real raise, a uh, good union uh, jobs for all. Fight racism, sexism, and all oppression. Quality, affordable housing, and free health care for all. No more sellouts. We need a new party. Okay, so let's see. This is uh, full thing, apparently. Uh, let's see. I would suggest to her that. They learn what modern monetary theory is. Let's see, we face an epidemic of unaffordable housing. Yeah, because they haven't built any more housing or slowed down on us since the 80s and 90s. Anyway, so let's see. 
Let's see something here. Oh, well, sell us. Yeah, I don't think she's, she, I don't think that maybe I didn't read enough into it. Yeah, at least, where is it? Okay, I used to see that again. And yeah, for now, I'm going to just go in here because I don't, I don't know where to put it on. Yeah, I can't find uh, the main website right now, but whatever. I mean, I'll make this back. I'll leave it. So let's see. Workers, let's strike back. The independent rank of file campaign. I'm going, okay, same all done. Then no more sellouts in the new party. Okay, so let's see. I think my question would be for this is where are the majority of the funding coming from? Because if it's true independent uh people, then it'll be directly from like people who want to see it or want to be a part of it. So you know, strict donations. Um, no, like small and well, small businesses, sure, but not, not but not like you know, big conglomerates and stuff of that nature. Anyway, who knows? Uh, let's see, news. Okay, okay so what else? Da, da, da. Okay, I am seeing the same thing on here as I would on Social's Alternative. The only difference is they've changed their name. I don't really see anything new. It's still all about her, it seems like. Uh, but maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I haven't, as you can see, I haven't uh, explored much. This is the video portion. Not bomb, bomb, well, okay, yeah, so this. Okay, well, anyways, it's up to you guys. If you want to check it out, cool. If not, so good with me too. Anyway, so let's see. This is realprogressives.org. This is the articles that are on. Well, hold on, let me replace this. There we go. Okay, so RP Lives, Michael Hudson uh, talks about all, all kinds of different things. That, let's just kind of show you where I was referring to. This is the bookstore. This is where this is where you can get I'm not sure if this is where you can get this. That's one of these things, I'll just say that. Also, this is also where you can get a few other things as far as Alberta goes. Uh, so. Anyway, so where? Oh, no, 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 there we go. So let's go back here. See, yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's kind of see my council uh, office will continue to fight relentlessly for working people right up until the final days of my term. We will be bringing rent control for a vote, and alongside our new organization, work, Workers Strike Back, we, as SWB, uh, we will be building our movement to renters and working rights, and then uh, and when this term is over, we will continue to be dis dis disturbers of the political peace in Seattle, as we also nationally, uh, as well as nationally, whether inside of uh, or outside of City Hall. I urge your I, I urge young people, working people, and union members to join workers at strike back. So yeah. So apparently she realized that the DSA is corrupt. She realized that they do far more cover for Democrats. My God, did I say that from the very fucking beginning? I said that they were established by a Democratic donor. <laughs> uh, 
this is why I promote modern monetary theory, and that's why it's not a political thing. It's a financial, educational thing. And one of the reasons why we should all begin together as one people to learn MMT and to learn what the what the current system is and what a fiat currency is on the floating exchange rate and not having outside currency debt and being able to pay all of our debt in our own currency. That's what the United States is. That's what Japan is. That's what China is. That's what Canada is. That's what UK is. That's what these countries are. They can afford everything that people need. In fact, the definition of a government is a, is a government body that takes care of their citizens. So for those who want to keep talking to BS about how are we going to pay for it, we pay for it by spending the money and taxing it out. Until we get to full employment, until we get full manufacturing supply chain up and running, where everybody has enough money to, to afford everything they need. And if there's too much money in the system, that's when taxes come in in regards to that. Otherwise, national debt is all the money that has ever been spent into the economy that has yet to be taxed out. And you know, look at the tax breaks for the wealthy that has sustained the debt. Not uh spending on people when you spend on people and on governments they are the consumers they consume the same product of the same corporation that get those tax breaks money that's spent into the economy keeps from having to i guess you say take take that those taxes out because it keeps money flowing in the economy I mean, either way, you tax you tax the money. It doesn't go to spending anyway. It just just taking out of the economy. So anyway, that's what I gotta say about that. So she finally learned a lesson. Apparently, she hasn't said she's gonna leave yet. Say this, I didn't see that. Of course, it did appear that she was leaving the social alternative, which is kind of interesting. Who knows? Point being is, everybody who wants to change the system, or at least uh, know, you know, not reform political parties, but learning the system, how it works, and benefiting from it, making everybody else's life better. Because when you leave it up to the one to one to ten percent of the population. You're not getting anywhere. The same families, the same people will still have the same the, the, the same type of wealth. It'll just keep growing until you learn how the financial system works and the fiat currency, exchange rates, stuff of that nature. Look up Warren, uh, 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 Warren Mosler. Look up uh, Steve Grumbine. Look up RootProgressive.org, as I just showed you. Look up uh, Mike Norman. Uh, both him, both him and Warren Moser have been in the financial uh, uh, financial uh, industry. The majority of their life, as far as adults, check out Stephanie Chelton, who at one point in time was trying to debunk Warren Moser, but wound up joining with him because she realized he was right. Given the fact that MMT throughout history. And its predecessors, you know, the charters and other things of that nature, uh, functional finance. I've been right by everything in regards to monetarism that was brought to you by uh, uh, Friedman and other people. Hayek, Austrian economics, has been wrong since its very inception because economics as a system is still under a theory because people are still fucking with it and seeing what works. NMT, I feel, has found that and is trying to educate people and is trying to bring more people in to find out how the system works so that you don't freak out when quote-unquote debt ceiling comes up so that you can make a better informed decision on if your vote still counts 
to to vote for someone who actually knows about that and is not and knows what a a currency issuing country can do and not come from a currency user background like a lawyer, a businessman, an accountant, whatever. That's what MMT is bringing to the table: education, non by non partisanship. Or is non partisan? No, one that looks at both sides. This is what I mean. Is what I mean by that. Anyway, point being is learn MMT, compare it to what you have learned, and see which one has been right. See which one has been able to let you know, uh, you know, has been right after you were proven wrong. Anyway, that's what I got to say about that. So that's what the F mon monetary theory is. Peace out for now. Go to uh, my my TikTok account uh, at Calvin Taylor six six six. I have other TikToks in case my phone doesn't work, so I have uh, other places to put put that. Especially, yeah. Anyway, so anyway, thanks for watching, listening. If you're a socialist, please become a socialist by policy, not by party, and learn MMT, learn monetary theory. Go to realprogressives.org. Peace out for now.